life. I think goal setting is huge. I live pretty much my whole life on goal setting. Yeah. It's one goal to the next goal to the next goal to the next goal to it. Because if I don't, if I didn't have that, I don't think I'd have much meaning. And I mean that in the, the, the most serious way. I, I very much, I'm like, right, I want this goal. And then I'll work towards that goal. And then once I get that goal, I'm like, right, what's the next goal? And I think it's a, I think it's quite a healthy way to live. And people would say it's not, but I genuinely do. I think it's quite a healthy way to live because it gives you meaning to get up in the morning. Yeah, and there's, there's obviously different types of goals as well, isn't there? Because you've got, you obviously got your classic, you know, sort of short, medium, long-term goals. Mm -hmm. But then you've also got sort of, I think, behavioral and outcome-driven goals yeah. as well. And I think a combination of all things are really good. Um, one thing that we'll be really familiar with in the in the fitness industry, which I don't think we've really covered yet, but obviously smart goals and objectives. Smart, yeah. yeah. Smart. I think did Pete mention them? I can't remember. But um, obviously, yeah, it's it's a specific goal. It's measurable. It's achievable. It's realistic and it's time framed. And I think if people start setting those goals, then you know it's 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 yeah going to help drive them on, as you say. And I think when you don't put those sort of um, when you don't apply that principle to a goal. Just like floating. That's yeah. why I always think you're floating through life. Nothing yeah. massively matters. You know, you're just going from, you know, you wake up in the morning, every day is the same. Yeah. You know, what, you, what you're working towards. That's why I always think to myself. Yeah. I always think, what am I working towards? Am I yeah. working towards get better at jujitsu, you know, the podcast, the yeah. business, my family life, you know, all these different yeah. things. And uh, you don't have to write them down, but you know in your head what they are. Yeah. You know, you, you know what they are. Yeah, you know I think sometimes writing them down though is good. It does help, but you don't always have to. You no. know what I mean? I hear people all the time saying, you know, right, me, I've got my own goals and not, I don't need to sometimes say them or do them, but I know, mm. you know, what I'm getting out of yeah. bed for every morning that yeah. motivates me. Yeah. Um, but you're right. Some people, you know, it will help actually writing down a goal yeah. and holding themselves accountable to yeah. that goal. Yeah, no, 100%. And, you know, I've spoke to so many people about this uh, working as a PT, but also just, you know, sort of chatting to mates and yeah. stuff where they talk about a goal. And I think the measurable one's really, really, really big as well. Um, and also the time frame bit. So the M and the T, because I think if you can't measure it, and this is what people are, yeah, you know, what, what's your goal? Oh, I just want to have more money. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, how much more money by when? You know, and just by adding those two things, you suddenly add a bit more purpose yeah. and, and everything. So I think adding those principles are really key. And what I've, what I've said before, and I, I find this, to be, you know, sort of certainly personally quite true is that, you know, we've talked about, you know, I think previously, you know, enjoying the journey, not the, not the, the end goal. Yeah. Um, so sometimes it's about setting the behavioral goals because good behaviors will produce an outcome. So it's fine setting an outcome goal, but yeah. without behavioral goals, are you ever going to get to the outcome? I don't know. Um, so what I found is it might be, I don't know, I want to earn more money. I want to earn five grand a year more within 12 months. That's the goal. I'm like, right. Well, how are you going to get there though? Like that, you know, it's definitely yeah. achievable. You know, it's quite specific, you know, and it's realistic, but how are you going to get there? And that's where you then set those behavioral goals. And, you know, there would be the, 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 the short and medium term goal. So it might be right. Okay. So the long term goal is maybe to ask my boss for a pay rise. So how am I going to do that? Well, I need to create more worth in the workplace. How am I going to do that? I'm going to take on more accountability. Well, how am I going to do that? I'm going to start developing my knowledge around the particular area of the business. How am I going to do that? Go on fucking YouTube two hours yeah. a day. Right, yeah. that's that's the, that's that's the behavior goal. But then you look at it, how are they going to do the two hours if they're drinking every night? Well, yeah. Cut that out. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So yes. Yeah. It's, it's a knock on yeah. effect. Yeah, so right there you've got, so you've got two. So right, I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to only drink on a Friday. Yeah. And uh, three times a week for two hours, I'm going to go on YouTube and I'm going to research this area of the business that I want to try and then take more accountability for and therefore increase my value in the workplace and therefore get a promotion. Yeah. 